two forces of uh, 18 newton and 17 newton act simultaneously at a point at a point find the resultant force if the angle between them is 150 degrees so there are two forces let us uh, name it as f1 and f2 there are two forces so f1 is equal to force f1 is equal to 18 newtons and force f2 is equal to 17 newtons here two forces acting at a point let us say let us name it as o two forces acting at a point o point o so force f1 and this is force f2 okay so angle between f1 and f2 is 150 degrees so theta is equal to angle between f1 and f2 force f1 and f2 150 degrees okay now then find resultant force resultant find resultant find resultant okay so to solve this problem i'm going to apply parallel parallelogram law of forces parallelogram parallelogram law of forces so by using this concept we can find resultant force so resultant is equal to according to parallelogram law of forces so so using this data we can construct a parallelogram and now we need a resultant R, resultant R. So, according to parallelogram law of forces, resultant R is equal to root over F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cos theta. So, F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 F1 F2 cos theta. Okay, no? here F1 F2 are forces. Force, forces acting at point O and theta means angle between F1 and F2. So now by plugging all the values, see by plugging F1, F2 and theta, um, we get F1, F1 how much? 80 square plus F2, 70 whole square plus 2 F1, 80, F2, 70 into cos 150 degrees theta 150 okay. r is equal to just find the values of 80 square 80 square 80 whole square is how much 6400 70 whole square 4900 plus 8 sevens are 56 so 56 and 256 are 256 are how much 112 0 0 so two zeros into cos 150 cos 150 can be written as cos 90 cos 150 value let us find cos 150 value cos 150 degrees cos 150 means uh, 90 plus some theta 90 plus 60 we can write 90 plus 60 or 180 minus 30 your wish 180 minus 30 cos 90 plus theta Cos 90 plus 90 plus theta second quadrant. Second quadrant all silver teacups. Second quadrant cos negative minus. So 90 here 90 is odd multiple of 90. So cos becomes sine. Sine 60. Minus sine 60 degrees. Minus sine 60 degrees how much? Sine 60 root 3 by 2. Minus root 3 by 2. This value is minus root 3 by 2. Okay. Root over. 64004900 how much 64004900 you will get 11300 11300 plus into minus minus 2 ones are 25600 hmm? yes into root 3 into root 3 is equal to root over 11300 minus 5600 into root 3 5600 into root 3. Okay. 
if you calculate 5006 into root 3 so you will get approximately 5 uh, 1.732 okay we have to calculate root 3 means 1.732 so 5600 into 1.732 okay is equal to root over 11300 minus 5600 into 1.732 approximately 9700 approximately 9700 is equal to root over 11300 minus 9700 you will get 61 1600 root over 1600 how much 40 okay so 40 newtons therefore resultant r is equal to 40 newtons so here resultant value how much 40 newtons okay very simple problem so we need to remember this formula resultant root over p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta okay where p and q are forces 